Hello and welcome to What's in This Week's Open Times with me, Cathy Griffiths. And me, Sandy Neal. Well, we've had uh, lots of drama this week in, in Oban. Um, of course, we had the rock fall at Galanac Road. That was the uh, very first thing on, on Friday morning. Uh, three huge, gigantic boulders came down from the cliff top, rolled down the, uh, the, the hillside, narrowly missed a house, narrowly missed a works van and a school bus. So uh, my word, people there were very, very lucky that uh, they, they didn't get uh, seriously uh, injured or worse. So um, we've had all of that going on. Galanac Road is still closed. Uh, the council is trying to find who owns the cliff tops because it isn't the council's responsibility. It's privately owned. They're trying to find out who owns it. But in the meantime, they're doing what they can to keep everyone safe by keeping the road shut. And they are still looking for loose, for loose rubble to see... Um, if any more could come down because obviously with all the sort of uh, wet weather we've been having having that could have uh, serious effects so Galnack Road at this moment still still shut um, we've got councillors onto it as well uh, Roddy Makush is saying do you know what we need to keep that road open we don't want it to become a mini rest and be thankful so uh, maybe the council should just crack on and do what it needs to do to make it safe and then find the uh, owner later so uh, we'll see what happens from that uh, we also had a human wave in Oban that was on Saturday Today, despite torrential rain, um, about 60 hardy souls of all ages turned up wearing blue to line the esplanade and make a human wave. And that was all about raising um, awareness of uh, climate change. So uh, well done to those folks. We've got some cracking photos of someone moving house to Easdale, not on a truck, not on a boat, but uh, with the help of a helicopter. So there we go. So I think that's the first time a house has been moved over to Easdale Island with a helicopter since uh, early 1960s, when apparently it was a ferryman's house and they nearly dropped the roof. So, yeah, there we go. Also in Dunbeg, uh, their community council met for the first time since the pandemic. So uh, that was really good to see people actually sat around the table and members of the public there listening to what's been going on in their in their community. And then, of course, we had the amazing fireworks that have been going on around the community. So what a blast. Hope you get the pun. What a blast everyone had. So we've got some uh, cracking photos um, of, uh, of all what went on. Whew, Sandy, what have you been up to? Wow, Kathy. Well, thank you very much. Well, we've got more on the day that Amazonian tribes came to help protect our Giles rainforests. We've got News on the government helping six islands, not three, to reach net zero carbon by 2040. That's five years before the whole country and 10 years before the whole of the UK. We've got a fall in police numbers and a fall in serious road accidents in Argyll. And we've got news of a rescue on the River Or, And we've got more on the new Seaweed Academy, the UK's first, starting up at Sam's in Dunbeg. Cathy, over to you. Well, what a cracker of a paper. Get out there and buy it, folks. There's lots to read, lots of stories, lots of photos. So, uh, so enjoy it. You can always get in touch with us to share your stories and share your pictures with us. Give us a call on 01631 568000. Email us at editor at opentimes.co.uk or message us on Facebook. So all the uh, notices are available in all the usual shops and retail outlets. And you can also go online and subscribe to our digital page turning edition. Have a great week, folks. That's it from us for now. So bye-bye from me, Kathy Griffiths. And bye from me, Sandy Neal. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Hey, bye. Hey.